A good non-contact voltage tester will not only save your time, but will give you the confidence that the electricity is exactly where you think it is. A quality voltage pen will work on a wide voltage range and give both visual and audible feedback when voltage is detected. The best voltage sensors will even let you know when they're not working. This completely removes the unease that the voltage detector is faulty. In this video we have selected the best voltage tester for electricians, let's dive straight into reviews. Line Tools non-contact voltage detector detects voltage in cables, cords, outlets, light fixtures, and wires. Now it's made of a durable plastic construction, it's lightweight, it easily fits in my pocket, and it also has replaceable AAA batteries. Now it has a simple on-off button, and the bright green LED illuminates when the tester is operational. Now when the tester does detect voltage, the LED goes from a bright green to a red and it also has warning tone sounds. 
and in case you forget to turn the tool off, it has an automatic shutoff. When Southwire introduced the 40150N non-contact voltage detector, it was an immediate hit because it was everything the electrician wanted in an NCV at a great price. Competitors are still trying to catch up. I mean, the 40150N is robust, it's safe, and it's still the best value in NCVs. First of all, it's robust. Now, I've told this story many times, but I actually ran over the 40150N in the Southwire parking lot out here and it didn't break. It's waterproof too. Not water resistant, waterproof. And that means it's also dust proof. Plus it has a six foot drop rating. So you can even drop it on the detector tip from six feet on concrete and it won't break. It's also safe. It has a cat four safety rating, which means you can use it anywhere on the job site up to a thousand volts. There's a low battery self-test, which assures that there's always enough battery power for accurate detection. And it's also UL listed. And a lot of manufacturer has, manufacturers have gone away from having their meters and tested UL listed. Why? Well, because there's cheaper and faster options out there. But we think that UL provides the most comprehensive safety testing. And so Southwire's made a commitment that all of our meters and testers will be UL listed. So the next time you buy a meter or a tester, look for the UL mark on the product. You'll always find it on Southwire meters and testers. The 40150N is also the best value on the market because it's packed with great convenience features. It has two flashlights, right? One on the front and one on the back. And I challenge you to find another NCV with two flashlights. One flashlight's in the front, so it always illuminates the area where you're detecting voltage. I mean, that's a great safety feature. It also has a very powerful LED flashlight on the other end with a bright, focused flashlight. So there's no need to carry around an extra flashlight on the job. It has two voltage modes, so it even works great in low voltage applications. And there's even a silent mode. So if you're working in a school or an office building, um, you don't have to have the, the beeping bother possibly bother your customers. 
So the next time you're in the market for a non-contact voltage detector, check out the Southwire 40150N. It's robust, it's safe, and it's backed by a UL listing and a five-year no-hassle warranty. The Southwire 40150N non-contact voltage detector. Hi folks, this is Ron with Ideal. The Ideal Voltaware is our catalog number 61-025 non-contact voltage indicator. Electricians and maintenance professionals use it to identify if voltage is present in an electrical circuit. It indicates the presence of voltage from 40 to 1000 volts AC and can quickly indicate if power is turned off an old circuit without having to expose yourself to live conductors. It detects the changing electrical field around hot conductors and does not need to make direct contact to bare conductors to achieve this. This sleek compact voltage indicator is designed for the electrical contractor and is CAT4 rated. It can identify hot versus neutral or ground conductors, breaks in the line of a hot conductor, or to indicate that power is off at receptacles, switches, inside electrical panels, or anywhere along the length of a conductor. To use the voltware, twist the tester body to the on position. A green light verifies the tester is on and ready to use. Then verify the tester's operation on a known voltage source before using. By placing the tip of the tester near an AC source, like this outlet location, to obtain a voltage indication. Voltage is indicated by the flashing red light and audible tone when testing an electrical circuit. Then test the unknown circuit to verify if voltage is present. Also, please follow electrical safety related work practices as addressed in the NFPA 70E when working with electrical circuits. Notice at an outlet that inserting the tip of the tester into a slot indicates voltage at the hot conductor only and will not indicate voltage on the neutral or crown conductors if none exists. This feature allows the voltware to correctly identify hot conductors in circuits where conductors are not clearly labeled. The receiving antenna is very sensitive and can easily identify a hot conductor. Notice as I pass along the length of this extension cord that the conductors are twisted inside the cord and the voltware flashes red when the hot conductor is near the outer jacket of the cord and green when not. You can also use the voltware to find a break in a hot conductor as well. The tester will indicate the presence of voltage until the break in a cable is passed by. This feature quickly identifies the problem light bulb that is open in a string of Christmas lights. The light bulb that does not indicate voltage is present on both conductors to the light in the string needs to be replaced. If no voltage is detected for 15 minutes, the test will flash green several times, then shut off automatically to preserve battery life. Twist the body to the off position, then back on to reactivate. The Voltaware has no on button that can be inadvertently depressed when stored in a pocket or pouch. The Voltaware defaults to the audible on mode when first switched on. To turn the audible feature off in noise sensitive environments, depress the black button towards the tip of the tester. Depress the button again to reactivate the audible feature. Note that this feature can only be deactivated while the green indicator light is lit. Low battery indication is noted when the tester is switched on, but the green indicator light does not light and the tester will cease to function. Rotate the tester to the middle position and pull apart the two halves of the case. Replace with two new AAA batteries and reassemble the tester. The Ideal Voltaware non-contact voltage indicator is a simple to use tester for electricians and can save a lot of time in the field. They can use it to verify that they have thrown the correct breaker before working on electrical circuits in a building safely. While any non-contact voltage indicator can be a handy and time-saving tool, Ideal Industries strongly encourages the use of a secondary voltage measurement device such as a digital multimeter to confirm 100 percent that the conductor is truly de-energized. Fluke T6 electrical testers with FieldSense technology let you make AC voltage measurements without test leads. The T6 creates a reference electrical signal which is carried to earth ground through capacitive coupling. 
When the open fork is placed over a live conductor, the AC voltage interacts with the reference signal. The T6 tester then calculates the AC voltage. There are two ways to make field sense measurements. The first method is ideal when PPE requirements are minimal and gloves are not required. For this method, securely dock both test leads, ensuring that the black lead is pressed all the way forward. Be sure to maintain continuous contact with the field sense ground contact. Insert the open fork around the AC conductor, making sure the conductor reaches the bottom of the fork. The second measurement method should be used when gloves are required, when the user is standing on a ladder, or is otherwise insulated from ground. Take the black lead from the T6 and make contact with a good ground. Slide the open fork over the conductor so it reaches the bottom of the fork. Either method will give you a reliable AC voltage reading through the conductor's insulation and without touching a live conductor. Now just to verify, let's take a voltage measurement using test leads. After putting on the appropriate safety equipment, touch the test leads to the live test points. The reading shows the field sense measurements were valid. With field sense, we're able to get a consistent measurement without heavy gloves and without touching a live conductor.